It was amazing. It was incredible. It was, uh, it was something like as a fan of the franchise and then as someone who was very proud to be a part of the movie and then to be able to voice Sonic, to see people love it and to see people react and like want to see more and watching people when the Tales reveal happens, we would go to movie theaters and check it out. It was, it was amazing because you hope that people like it as much as you like it and then you're watching people really connect with it and feeling like we did it, uh, we, we did the fans like justice. That made me so happy. We have more characters. We have uh, Tails. Tails was just like a little, a little treat at the end. And now Tails is a character that is uh, with Sonic. And now we have Knuckles, which if you're a fan of Sonic like I was, when that video game came out to introduce Knuckles, it was extraordinary. I even remember, maybe I'm wrong, that there was like a little connecting part to it when you got the game back in the day. But the em even the emblem to me is iconic. It used to, for the video game, it was like a Sonic and a Knuckles, the blue and the red. Um, but the idea that we had these characters to play with, and then the action is incredible. It's almost like they're like, okay, the first movie, the people really enjoy the first movie. You can go go to Jeff Fowler and Toby and Neil. Go nuts now. Go, go. And they took advantage of it, and it's great. And now we have Tails and Knuckles, so it's kind of a... Uh, it feels like it's all been leading to this build, and um, I just loved it. I really loved the second movie. We have so many people that love these characters so much, and I think hopefully that's why people, people felt that in the first one, and they're going to feel it even more in the second one. There's Easter eggs everywhere, and I think people watching will love it. But we go to all sorts of places. We Sonic is able to run over water and go to like uh, islands that have been lost for eons. So it's exciting. New places, new fun places, and then uh, then the the uh, knowledge that all these people have coming into it, like a uh, Robotnik that has already been defeated. Now he's really pissed. Sonic was trying to grow up as a kid and be like more of an adult. You know, all these things coming into it. The way that we had played Sonic at the beginning is he is this kid with a lot of energy and he wants people to like him, but at the beginning he really didn't have anybody. Um, now he has this wonderful family and he has this town that kind of enjoys who he is. Um, and now it's a matter of, like any other kid, he's growing up, he's looking for his identity, he's looking for people that he can hang around with that don't feel like uh, parents. Um, your group of humans. So I think it's really fun to follow it because for people like myself or any other people growing up when you're kids, you're really trying to find like the people you like to have fun with, the people that are creative the way you're creative, that are unique, that are weird, that are silly. Um, and it's Sonic trying to find that for him. The idea that Sonic, knowing that he has these powers, wants to be that Batman vigilante type uh, character and he wants to do good towards the town that he's in. Um, so he's trying to protect it, but he's a kid and he doesn't quite have a handle on uh, how to do these things without <laughs> destroying a city or stuff like that. So when we see Sonic at the beginning, it's him trying to be this blue justice is what he calls himself um, and doing it very poorly. I love the idea of like a very like a Batman that just isn't quite pulling it off. Uh, and that's kind of like where he started because that's what he feels his purpose is. His heart is in the right place. He wants to make everybody feel safe and happy, but at the same time, he's destroying a lot of things. Tails is a character, a little beautiful, sly little fox, has two tails, and one of my favorite parts in the video game is that you can play with your friend and someone can control tails and you can control Sonic, but um, has the ability to fly with his tails, uh, which becomes very exciting in the video game as well when he hangs on to you, you get to do stuff with that. But uh, in the film, becomes someone who idolizes, the sycophant of Sonic, someone who really idolizes Sonic and um, finally gets time alone with Sonic and kind of learns about who he really is. And, um, and vice versa, where Sonic gets to meet someone from back where he was from and learn about uh, Tails. Jim Carrey as Robotnik, so fun in the first one, so much fun in the second one. He is pissed. He's pissed off. I mean, Sonic threw him to the Mushroom Planet, and now his goal, his, his purpose, is to get back and to stop Sonic. Knuckles is an echidna, and uh, Knuckles is like, he's got these huge hands, and, uh, uh, and, and has the ability just to, he's just like a brawler. He's just like, he can punch, he can fight. He has powers as well. And he is like the ultimate match for Sonic. I think Sonic has never met somebody who can stop him. The instant Knuckles is introduced, Knuckles stops him in his most powerful attack, pushes him to the ground and shows him that he can't do this. So Sonic has to start thinking in different ways to try to defeat this force, which he's never seen before. I love Idris Elba. I think he's an unbelievable actor. Um, and his voice is so like strong and 
it, it just it's perfect in in the essence of what what um, Sonic sounds like and what Colleen's tail sounds like, who's unbelievable. And then Idris also is just like I feel so lucky that he's a part of it. I feel like we got so lucky. Um, and his voice sounds amazing in the movie. So I'm over over the moon. I haven't met him yet, but I have a feeling when I meet him, he won't care. <laughs> I have a feeling he's met uh, far more interesting people than me. I have a feeling he'll say, what are you doing here? And I say, I play Sonic. And he'll say, Sonic is a cartoon character. I go, good and lovely to meet you. Have a great day, sir. <laughs> Jim Carrey is like an idol of mine in Marsden and Tika. And Natasha Rothwell is so good in this movie. And Adam Pally, I'm a, obviously I'm a comedian coming up. I'm an improv and sketch comedian. And um, Natasha and Adam uh, both come from UCB, uh, Upright Citizens Brigade, where I came from. And they're so funny in this. And they hit their marks so hard. They're just... I can't wait for people to see them. Natasha is so funny. And Adam, I was in a sketch group with when I was a kid called Hot Sauce. So I'm always rooting for him. And he crushed it. They're both so good. So uh, the fact that we have our main cast that you love, and then we have this guest cast, and we have some new people in, uh, as well, it, it's been awesome. Jeff Fowler is an incredible leader, I think. He's amazing. I get to see him from the VO side. Um, and when I see it, it's He's awesome, and we get to play, and we find new stuff, and every now and then there's a piece that we got to figure out, and together we figure it out, and um, it's amazing. Uh, he showed what he can do in the first movie, and he shows it to the next level in this one, so it's very exciting. There's so many different reasons to watch this film, uh, and I, I'm so excited by it. There's comedy, there is action, and there's action in the first one. The action is like quintupled action. Jim Carrey still unbelievably funny. We have James Marsden, we have Tika, we have Natasha, we have Adam. We have an incredible cast. The animators crushed it. Tails is unbelievable. Colleen does an incredible job. Knuckles is unbelievable. Idris does an incredible job. Uh, Sonic is beautifully animated and I feel like we really brought the energy of the first one to this one. It's just epic. It just feels epic. It feels like we're providing you a movie that you're like, what? And you keep saying that because it keeps building and building until this incredible crescendo at the end that harkens back to these incredible action or incredible superhero movies that you've seen in the past couple of years. And uh, I'm just really proud because it feels like an evolution of um, where we started and where this character is going. Uh, and it's really exciting. We have some other new cast members as well. Shamar Moore, who's a beautiful, a beautiful muscled man. Um, and unbelievably hilarious in this as well. 